Hi, Karel King, StandStrength.com, and today I'm going to be talking about why I advocate a power building training method. So, the reason why I advocate power building is boils down to four reasons. One, strength training can be avoided regardless of your goal. Whether you're trying to get as strong as possible, whether you're trying to get as big as possible, if you're a natural lifter, because the advice that I'm going to be giving on this channel will be targeted toward the natural lifter, because I'm a natural lifter, you have to to tr do strength work you have to do strength training now the degree to which um, your one rep max matters to you not um, totally important depending on uh, how much you want to be stronger or uh, how much you want to be like more focused towards size so if you're a more size focused power builder um, you don't need to worry too much about your one rep max, but the goal, regardless of whether you're a power lifter who's trying to look good or a bodybuilder who's trying to be strong, you have to get stronger. So number two, strength and size can't be separated. So there's a lot of overlap between um, size training and strength training. Um, when you're trying to get bigger um, you're trying to accumulate quality tonnage over time so tonnage being sets times reps times weight you're trying to increase that over time so those are three variables that you can manipulate over the course of your training life that will lead to size gains but the thing is you can't neglect intensity so if the intensity like whether you're using a percentage based system just how the absolute amount of weight on the bar rpe if the amount of intensity is zero like it doesn't matter how many sets and reps you're doing because anything times zero is zero. So it has to, you have to make sure that for it to um, qualify as quality tonnage, you have to make sure that you're training uh, with proper intensity. So, and then if you're trying to do strength training, you have to make sure that you're, pra that you're practicing the lift, that you're getting high quality reps in, that you're training in a optimal intensity range also, and trying to get better at the movements and trying to... Um, become more neuromuscularly efficient with those movements. So, if you're trying to get really good at either one, to recap, you have to get, if you're trying to get as strong as possible, you have to get bigger. If you're trying to get bigger, you have to get stronger. If you increase your ability to lift more weight on a bench press, and then you increase your ability to lift that heavier weight for more reps, not only are you stronger, you're bigger. So you can't separate size and strength. Um, the third reason why I advocate a power builder training method is that natural lifters can train the same way as enhanced lifters. So as a personal trainer, as a manager of a gym, I see people who are enhanced. I see how they train. They train with um, muscle building methods that are more like metabolic damage, metabolic fatigue, because they can get away with that. Natural lifters, we have to rely on muscle damage. We have to damage the muscle. We got to train it hard. We have to lift heavier weights. We have to do big, heavy compound movements. That's the only way, in my opinion, and the only way that I've seen that people really get big. Oftentimes, I'll see people who, year after year, they do the same exact workouts, focusing mainly on cables, machines, and they don't really progress all that much. They might be doing more weight or anything like that, but because... Uh, the demand on the muscle really isn't that much they don't really get bigger so the biggest change I see is when people go from using mostly machines and cables to starting to use big heavy um, barbell and dumbbell movements I have a huge bias towards those free weight movements I don't it's not that I think that um, machines and cables are useless. They definitely have a place if you have uh, access to them. But they should be used intelligently and they can't be the bulk of your programming. So going back to the point of natural lifters can't train the same way as enhanced lifters. Enhanced lifters, all they, can, all they have to do is stimulate the muscle. If I'll, Oftentimes I'll see them rather than doing like let's say a traditional bench press. They'll just bring a... Um, barbell like that's a lot lighter than you would expect them to be lifting so for example like you'll see a guy who looks like he benches like high 200s through um, maybe even more than 315 and he'll just be having like a 75 to 100 pound barbell in his hands and he's just bringing the barbell down and holding it here for as long as he can just to really feel the muscle and just pump it out there to pump up the muscle because once he feels the muscle it's gonna grow he's enhanced he's on um, PEDs he he can get away with that but if a natural lifter tries to do that you'll feel the muscle sure but that doesn't necessarily mean you're growing the muscle so and 
the last thing, the last reason why I advocate for power building is that I think it challenges you to be the smartest and strongest you can be. So strength training is a skill. It's also a science. And but size training and science training is as well. However, oftentimes what I notice is that people who train for strength, they're just like, well, what's the most optimal way to do this? What's the most scientifically um, backed way to um, get stronger? Whereas si like people who are more training for size are just like, rah, 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 like I need to go as hard as I can every single set, harder than last time. And there is a place for both of that in your training. However, um, if you're trying to mix strength and size, um, you have to um, do it intelligently because there's a lot of overlap, but there's also a lot of conflicts between the two when you're pursuing them both at the same time. So why I personally do power building, right? I like lifting heavy. Like I just like lifting heavy. I like going for heavy singles, heavy doubles, triples, and like doing heavy sets in the um, two to five or like three to six rep range, right? However, I also know that my best size gains comes from doing um, more exercise selection, having a higher exercise selection, doing more sets, more reps, using a slightly lighter weight. I know that my muscles like um, react better to growth when I do that kind of um, bodybuilding. So because I think that the most important thing when you're trying to work out, trying to train, is what will allow you to be most consistent. So for me, what allows me to be most consistent is lifting heavy and trying to train like a bodybuilder. But like I said, there's a lot of overlap, but there's also a lot of conflicts between the two. And just because that's how I like to train, it doesn't allow me to be stupid in my approach. I have to be intelligent. I have to be very aware of the conflicts between the two. And I have to be very aware of trying to stick in that range where they do overlap and where they do feed into one another rather than trying to um, take one another down. Because there is a trade-off. When you do pursue power building, you do have to accept that you're not going to... Um, progress nearly as fast in either one and me personally I kind of like a lot of people will say that as a downside of power building me personally I think that's a plus because size and strength are supposed to be in my opinion very slow and um, processes you don't want to progress too fast you like if you are on like those beginner programs which I'm not really a huge fan of anymore like starting strength um, five by five anything like that they just kind of say all right do five sets of five and when you can do that add reps add i mean uh, add weight so you're just every single week just adding weight adding weight adding weight you're not really giving your muscles in my opinion time to really get used to the weight the movement and you're just forcing progression in the most simple-minded way possible i'm not a big fan of that so when you're trying to combine the two you still have to be intelligent so and because uh you're progressing more slowly and you're focusing on staying with the weight a bit longer waiting for it to become a bit more comfortable and not so comfortable that it just becomes easy and you have a non-productive working session but you just want to stick at these weights longer you want to like really really hammer in those adaptations into your body before you move on to a higher weight so that's the video that's why i power build that's why i am going to advocate power building because i just really believe that for the natural lifter and for anyone who really like cares about getting bigger or getting stronger you have to pursue both so if you like the video like the video please comment and subscribe um my website is standstrength.com i will be posting a workout program there articles and a lot more content there in the future so have a good day